Officer Lana Laker. Welcome to this edition of The Last 24 for Monday, February 8th. Last Friday evening, around 6.30 p.m., Squaw Peak Patrol officers responded to a radio call of a missing three-year-old in the area of 2900 East Fairmont Avenue. When officers arrived, they contacted a panicked woman who told them that her three-year-old son was playing with his friends in the enclosed courtyard in front of their apartment. She left the door open so she could watch him, but became distracted for a moment to care for her infant inside when she noticed that she could no longer see her son outside. She ran outside to look for him, and after several minutes of searching, she called the police for help. Officers began searching the apartment and surrounding areas, and after talking to the other children and several adults in the apartment complex, they learned that an adult was seen holding the three-year-old's hand as they walked away from the apartment complex towards Indian School Road. Officers in the area began searching the business areas along Indian School Road. Officer Brian Webster went into several businesses and then spotted a woman with a young boy that matched the description given by the mother walking in the parking lot. Thankfully, the boy appeared to be unharmed and was returned to his mother and father. The woman who was with the child was identified as 50-year-old Rhonda Williams. She told police that she lives in the same apartment complex as the boy and she and her male roommate got into an argument and she walked out into the courtyard where the children were playing. She yelled back to her roommate that she was going to the store and asked the three-year-old boy if he wanted to go with her to get some candy. Rhonda never attempted to locate the boy's parents and did not know the boy or where he lived. She took him by the hand and walked to a couple of stores located on Indian School Road and bought him some candy. Rhonda told officers that she had used drugs the night before and that day. The boy's parents moved into the apartment complex only a few months ago and did not know Rhonda or her roommate. Rhonda was booked into jail for custodial interference and the investigation is ongoing with detectives from our Family Advocacy Center. Great job by Officer Scott Holloway and Officer Brian Webster along with all the responding officers who located this young boy quickly and safely returned him to his parents. I'm Officer Lana Laker. Thank you for watching. Be safe and make sure to tune in for more in 24.